And we want to turn now to the city council race, and that is where 21 people were battling for just nine seats. Eight of those 21 candidates are incumbents, and that means there will definitely be at least one new member. And the new this new election season, here are the council members. They will serve four-year terms instead of two. That's new. These are the members elected tonight. It is Sittenfeld, Winburn, Mann. The top nine get elected. That's the first three. Second three, Simpson, Seelbach, Smitherman. The last three and the final ones are Young, Wendell Young, Flynn, and Murray. Those are the new council members for the city of Cincinnati. So you can see a couple of incumbents have been bounced tonight. And these are the three that did not make it. This, these are in positions 10, 11, and 12. Lori uh, Quinlivan, also Landsman in Dillingham. Joe Webb has been following the city council race all night long for us. He joins us live from City Hall. Hi, Joe. Hey, Rob. Well, as you pointed out in that list that you gave us, there are three new faces on Cincinnati City Council that are going to change the balance on a lot of significant issues. David Mann, the former congressman, council member, and mayor, ran third, made a great showing after a long time away from city politics. And newcomers Kevin Flynn and Amy Murray filled out the eighth and ninth spots of this nine-person field. Now, Flynn is a local attorney was making his third run for council after finishing 11th and 13th, two previous tries. Amy Murray making her second race after losing the council seat that she was appointed to a few years ago. All three are opposed to the streetcar, as is mayor-elect John Cranley. And David Mann says, as a result of that, that project is likely dead. I think so. I, I don't. Given how the campaigns of the individuals you indicated uh, unfolded and what, how they feel about the streetcar, I would think that um, we're going to take a careful look at whether we cannot responsibly stop it. From what everybody has said and their stances on the streetcar, the vote now on city council looks like it would be 6 3 opposed to the streetcar. Incumbents Lori Quinlivan. She did not get reelected, neither did incumbent Pam Thomas. That created two of those spots, the third being Roxanne Qualls. Reporting live at City Hall, I'm Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Rob? Joe, thanks.